everybody and happy new year. I really hope you had a fantastic time with your family and loved ones. I for sure did. And here we are on the very first video of 2018, which is my wish list for the year. As you can see from the title, this is going to be an all luxury items video. So if luxury is not your thing, then probably that's not the video for you. If however you are interested in some luxury here and there and you are interested to see what's on my wish list for the new year then please keep on watching. Before we jump straight into the video I would like to clarify one thing just because these items are on my wish list it doesn't mean that I'm gonna end up get getting all of them. I may get one of them, two of them, I may not even get any of them in the end of the year, who knows? This is just a video telling you guys what is on my head lately and ideally if I had the money to spend them on luxury goods which ones I would decide to go for. Now I'm going to start with shoes and I have three different pair of shoes in this category that ideally I would like to get my hand on in 2018. The first one being the Gucci loafers. Now if you've been watching my videos for a while you know that I got the uh, Gucci Princeton mules as a birthday gift back in June from my hubby and I have to say I've worn this shoes like nobody's business. It was one of the most worn pair of shoes um, throughout summer and throughout early autumn and I've worn them so so much that I started seriously thinking that I should probably invest in the whole in the full loafer version of them just because I know how much use I'm gonna get out of them. I'm not thinking about anything crazy here. I know that the Gucci loafers come out in a plethora of different designs and colors and textures. I'm thinking of the black classic leather with a tarnished gold horse bit just because I know it will be very easy for me to style and I'm gonna get as much use as I did with the uh, Gucci mules. I am aware of the fact that the Gucci loafers have gone up in price since last year since there is such a great demand for them but I am willing to pay the full amount and get them just because I know I'm gonna enjoy them so much and for me they're just so comfy and I really believe that they're worth the money. Now the second pair of shoes that I have on my wish list is a Marmite pair of shoes. I know that some people love them and I know that some people hate them. I sat somewhere in the middle, I didn't think anything of them when I first saw them. I just remember myself saying, hmm, this pair of shoes has a weird heel. But that was it. But then I kept seeing them over and over and over again on Instagram. You know how it works. Instagram was literally bombarded with this pair of shoes that I, I don't know, they started growing on me and now I absolutely adore them. However, they're very, very expensive. So I don't know again if I'll manage to get my hands on them, but they are beautiful and it would be a dream if I could, um, managed to get them somehow. The pair that I'm talking about is no other than the Dior Jadior sling bags. Now a few years back it was all about the Chanel sling bags. Everybody was crazy about them including me. However, last year I saw at least for the first time the Dior Jadior sling bags. But there's something about the black with the white ribbon combination at the back, the white sling bag, that I think makes them so so beautiful, so so timeless and so amazingly great. I just love these pair of shoes. The pair that I'm thinking of getting my hands on are not the complete flat ones, they are the lower heel pumps and ideally I would like to get them in the material, not the pattern leather. Not that the pattern leather is not beautiful as well, but between the two I would prefer to go for the matte one rather than the shiny. And the third and final pair that is on my wish list is a pair of Hermes Oran sandals. Nothing new here, this pair of sandals has been out for years and it's considered to be an all-time classic if you ask me. I'm interested in either the tan color or the old black one. Both of them I find really elegant and beautiful. I was that close of buying them last year but then we left for holidays and I didn't have the time to go shopping before then. But since we are now in the new year I have already started thinking about my next summer holidays which you know is crazy but 
it is an investment that I'm happy to go for and spend the money on because I think it's such a timeless piece and even though we're talking about a pair of sandals I know they're never gonna go out of fashion and they seem very comfortable too so Yes, I'm happy to spend that amount of money on the orange sandals by Yomres. Moving on, let's talk about handbags. Now, in this category, I have again three pieces that I have my eyes on. And actually one of them I have been wanting for a really long time. So the very first handbag that I would like to get my hands on. And by the way, I'm not sure if this is included in the handbag category or in the SLGs as a small leather good item but I've included it in the handbag category so I hope you're okay with it is a Chanel walk or elsewhere a Chanel wallet on a chain I really want to get my hands on the classic Chanel wallet on a chain I have been wanting one since forever I think they're so practical, they're so versatile, you can have them as a wallet, you can have them as a bag, they're so practical, they're so like wear, I like the length of the chain on my figure and I think it's a really good investment bag and in terms of price they're obviously very expensive because they are Chanel but we're talking about entry level prices in the Chanel world because it's such a small leather good. Ideally, I would like to get it in a red and I'm a little bit difficult. I just don't want any red. I want the, tr uh, the classic true red that Chanel brings out every year and I know it's not easy to always get your hands on the true classic red. I'm not sure on the hardware yet. I honestly love the gold one and my classic Chanel flat bag I have it's with the gold hardware but in the classic red from pictures that I've seen, I also think goes really, really nice with the silver hardware. So I'm a little bit indecisive on the hardware, but for sure a true red wallet on a chain by Chanel is on my wish list, and hopefully I will manage to get it somehow this year. Now the next bag that is on my wish list, it's absolutely beautiful. It comes from Chloe, and for me, honestly, is a piece of art. I loved it ever since I laid my eyes on it and I think it's, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. I am a big fan of Chloe bags for many, many years now, but I think this one is the best design they've brought out so far. I'm talking about the Chloe Nile bag here. What can I say? Absolutely beautiful. I want the small size. The one that looks like the half moon one, I think is gorgeous, I think it's so so stylish. It was the eat bag of 2017 and I'm pretty sure that the hype is gonna continue all throughout 2018. So I really hope I can manage to get my hands on a small half moon Chloe Nile bag. Ideally I would like it in a summery color, so like a beige or a light pink maybe I don't know just just I find this design absolutely beautiful and the third and final handbag that is on my wish list comes again from Chanel I know two handbags from Chanel in one year it's never gonna happen but you know we can all keep dreaming right and the handbag that I'm talking about this time is a Chanel mini Oh my god, I love them. I find them super, super cute. I'm not so keen on the rectangular mini. I'm more interested in the square mini. And I want it in a really vibrant color, like something that would pop. I'm not sure what color I'm interested in yet. Maybe a bright pink or a bright blue or a white green or a yellow, I don't know. Just the idea of having a small, cute Chanel square mini just get me excited. I know it's very hard to track them down because only a few pieces reach the store every year and you know they're gone within a matter of hours or so but ideally I would really like to get my hand on a small, oh, no sorry, on a mini square Chanel bag. I think they're so so cute. So now that we've got the shoes and the handbags covered I do want to talk to you about one piece of clothing that it has been on my wish list since last year and around June last year 
I was again that close of buying it. I remember it was around my birthday and my mum was here visiting and we went together in Harrods when they stocked them and I tried it on and I really, really wanted it and my mum was encouraging to said, oh, it's a beautiful item, you should get it. But somehow I hold back and I didn't get it, but I still dream about it. The item I'm talking about is the Balmain jacket. Oh my goodness, I want a classic Balmain jacket so much. And I know that nowadays the jackets that are in fashion are a little bit longer, not so structured, they're more loose, but I still cannot get my mind out of the classic Balmain jacket. They're really expensive for a jacket, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And for me, they scream Balmain and they scream quality from afar. They are very heavy, I'm telling you this because, I ha as I said, I've tried them on. They're very heavy, but they give you a figure instantly and they make you look so feminine. I don't know. I, they, they, I don't know how they do that, but they do, I promise you. So, oh, oh I, I, a Balmain jacket is like a dream. The reason I didn't buy it in June, um, when I was in my mom in Harrods that day, is because nowadays I work from home. I don't work in a corporate environment anymore and to be fair I live in the middle of nowhere so the chances for me to get out such an expensive Balmain jacket and wearing it are very slim maybe on the weekends but still you know I'm more of a trainers and a jean and a jumper or a t-shirt kind of girl I don't get dressed that smart anymore but still I don't know I think a Balmain jacket just elevates any outfit. Maybe not even this year, maybe next year, who knows, but at some point I would love to own a classic Balmain jacket. I mean, you know, the one with the shoulder pads is just, it's just the perfect jacket for me and yeah, I think it worth every single penny. Moving on, the final item that is on my wish list is an accessory and more specifically is a piece of custom jewellery that comes this time from Hermes. And I'm talking about the Collier de Chion uh, bracelet. Oh my god, I really want this bracelet. However, it's ridiculously expensive for costume jewellery. I think it retails for £910 here in the UK. I want it again in the black with a gold hardware combination. Absolutely fantastic. I think it adds to any outfit, it elevates any outfit and I think it, even if you are wearing, you know, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, it in instantly elevates your outfit from a basic one to, you know, an over-the-top outfit. As I said, the price is a big downfall for me because I find that £910 for just a custom piece of jewellery is a little bit over-the-top, but it is beautiful. I've seen it so much again. So many people have it and they swear by it. I do have an Hermes Click Clack bracelet that my husband bought me ages ago, even before we were engaged or anything. I think it was one of his first gifts when we moved together here in London. I also had an Hermes um, H uh, cage necklace, which I sold just before Christmas on eBay because I had worn that necklace for I want to say over three years and it was it cost a lot of money that one I bought myself but I think the reason I haven't worn that that much is because I had it in the uh, silver with the black enamel combination and as I said I much more prefer gold now rather than silverware I think it matches my skin tone better so I decided to let that one go so my only concern is if I decided to take the plunge and spend that amount of money on a costume piece of jewellery, will I wear it enough? Will I make it work for me? Uh, because as I said, I work from home nowadays, I don't get uh, out of the house every day even, and when I go out on the weekends, it's usually me very casually dressed. So that one comes with a big question mark. It's a beautiful piece of jewellery, it's a classic, again by, Chine, uh, by, not Chanel, by Hermes, and I think 
if you are someone that you have the wardrobe for it and you have the lifestyle for it, it's an absolutely amazing piece to own. However, I don't know if it matches my lifestyle nowadays. Would I like to get it? Yes, but that's why I put it last on my wish list because it's there but it's not up there as long with, let's say, the Gucci loafers or the Jadi or shoes or everything else that I think and I know I'm gonna get much use out of them. So that were all the items that were on my luxury wish list for the new year. If you have some luxury items that you would love to get your hands on in 2018, please let me know in the comments down below as I would genuinely be interested to know. That is everything from me. Have a lovely, lovely new year and as I'll see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye you guys.